Earlier this month, billionaire mogul Jeff Bezos announced he'd be stepping down as Amazon CEO after three wildly successful decades at the helm. His replacement, Andy Jassy, is barely known outside tech business circles. Should you care? Yes, this is no run-of-the-mill corporate reshuffle. When Jassy takes the reins of Bezos' $1.7 trillion juggernaut later this year, he'll instantly become one of the biggest private employers on Earth. A colossus of commerce, retail, Hollywood, and the very future of the internet. So join us now as we rock up to the C-suite in our best suit and tie to ask exactly who is Andy Jassy. Andrew R. Jassy was born on January 13th, 1968, to a Jewish family of Hungarian heritage. He grew up in Scarsdale, a well-to-do commuter town in New York State. His father was a handsomely remunerated senior partner at NYC law firm Dewey Ballantyne. Always a bright lad, Jassy graduated with honors from Harvard College, where he's said to have entertained ambitions of ultimately becoming a sports commentator. Instead, after Harvard, Jassy went to work for the Danbury Mint, a decidedly old school firm which specializes in twee collectibles and miniature cars. Disenchanted after five years of that, he went back to Harvard Business School and studied for his MBA. The Monday after his final examination in 1997, the year he also married Alana Kaplan, Jassy took up his next role at a tiny tech startup called Amazon. I didn't know what my job was going to be or my title, he later said. This was, after all, the dot-com boom, and countless smart young guns like Jassy were chancing their arm in this growing but unpredictable sector. Over a romantic meal, he talked his new wife into moving out west to Seattle to see how things would play out at his new firm. After a few years at Amazon, which, spoiler alert, survived the dot-com crash, Jassy found himself in the enviable position of shadowing visionary founder Bezos at company meetings, essentially as his right-hand man. And it was in this capacity he attended a 2003 corporate jolly at the boss's house on Lake Washington and ultimately secured his destiny. While Amazon had emerged strong from the dot-com bust, finally reporting an annual profit on revenues of over $4 billion, there was discontent at the Lake House meeting. The firm's increasingly disparate teams were unhappy that too much of their time and energy was wasted setting up server capacity and other virtual infrastructure in order to get their pet projects off the ground. A better system of internal, scalable server management was needed and our guy Jassy was among the first to recognize that whatever smart, user-friendly solution they cooked for Amazon itself might also be a lucrative product to sell to outsiders. How right he was. Flash forward to today, and Amazon Web Services, which only accounts for 13% of Amazon sales, but a whopping 60% of all profits, now rakes in a cool $50 billion a year. Amazon Web Services, which Andy Jassy led from the start, builds and rents out the highways upon which an astonishing quantity of web traffic runs. Anytime you watch Netflix, rewind BBC iPlayer, leave a review on Yelp, complete a project on Slack, or make a match on Tinder, AWS is at work. It's even the basis of the CIA's computer systems. Since the global pandemic kicked off a year ago, AWS has grown still more powerful, providing the essential framework that video chat giant Zoom relies on. It gets better. Amazon Web Services even provided the crucial computational horsepower that helped biotech firm Moderna develop its COVID-19 vaccine in lightning quick time. Although it's by no means the best known wing of Amazon's sprawling empire, most people have never heard of it. Andy Jassy's pivotal role in helping AWS dominate cloud computing made him the logical choice for Bezos to single out as his heir. Why? Because cloud computing is only going to matter more in the years to come. Other tech giants recognize this too. In 2014, Microsoft promoted Satya Nadella, vice president in charge of its own Azure cloud program, to the top job after former CEO Steve Ballmer retired. Incidentally, Microsoft legend Ballmer reportedly tapped up a certain Andy Jassy for the Microsoft top job and was politely turned down. So what can we look forward to from Andy Jassy's leadership? As you may expect from one of its most venerable employees, Jassy eats, sleeps, and breathes Amazon's famously frothy corporate culture, and his speech is said to be peppered with aphorisms drawn directly from company mission statements. For instance, he favors teams where collaborators demonstrate backbone, which is to say they stand up to him. His number one criteria for good leadership, immortally codified in Amazon law, is be right a lot. Jassy's also fond of saying there's no compression algorithm for experience, which is a roundabout way of saying you need to grind for a long time before you get to the top, just as AWS did. Its dominant position over relative latecomers to the cloud, Google and Microsoft, is at least partly because Amazon, as so often, was there first. Which isn't to say Andy Jassy's leadership style is all airy-fairy corporate fluff. Widely regarded as a friendly, down-to-earth employer, he's also very 
exacting and demands consistent excellence from his teams. Meetings with Jassy are held in a conference room he likes to call The Chop, an obscure reference to Charterhouse of Parma, a French novel he read back in college. In The Chop, Jassy is said to employ a Wheel of Fortune style prop to randomly pick whichever quivering underling he'll be grilling that day. But if he's happy with what he hears, he'll conclude The Chop meeting with an adorably folksy giddy up, let's get this going. When Jassy finally ascends to the CEO chair, scheduled for the third quarter of 2021, he'll likely continue the ruthless expansionist mission of his predecessor, even if any given expansion doesn't necessarily feel like a natural fit for Amazon. A lot of companies only pursue businesses that are adjacent or look like an extension of their current business, he said, which by the way is a completely rational strategy. But we pursue the business even if it has hardly anything to do with the other businesses Amazon is in. Well, he certainly managed it at AWS, turning an online bookseller into a preternaturally powerful web services giant. Whether he likes it or not, on day one of his new role, Andy Jassy will become a big figure on the political stage too. He's already on record expressing his dissatisfaction with the leadership style of ex-president Donald J. Trump, and has loudly tweeted his support for, among other noble courses, the Black Lives Matter movement. Jassy will likely draw conservative fire for his influential decision, at one of those chop meetings indeed, to de-platform right-wing social media platform Parlay from AWS servers. Jassy revels in his role as evangelist for the Amazon mission. For a flavor, check out his keynote addresses from the annual AWS reInvent conference in Vegas, where, by the way, he got AWS into the Guinness Book of Records by hosting the largest ever chicken wing eating contest. Despite his own considerable fortune, estimated at just shy of half a billion dollars, and the vast resources imminently to be at his disposal, Andy should follow Jeff Bezos' lead and focus on customer experience over stock market value. You can't feel 30% smarter when the stock is up 30% because then you'll have to feel 30% dopier when the stock is down 30%, and usually neither is true, he says. And besides, this wholesome, beef jerky-loving Dave Matthews Band fan, who also part-owns the Seattle Kraken hockey franchise, will have lots in his interest to keep him busy. Not least with a Democrat in the White House, likely antitrust investigations into Amazon's sheer unparalleled uniquity. The coming rise of quantum computing also presents its own opportunities and challenges. Indeed, Amazon is already hiring engineers to prepare for this once-in-a-generation paradigm shift. But Jassy won't forget his roots at AWS. And with fully 96% of the global IT budget of $3.6 trillion still estimated to be up for grabs by one or another cloud provider, there's still plenty to be getting on with at that that pet project. This wannabe sportscaster and one-time Danbury Mint exec has always believed in reinvention. And he knows that reinventing is the only way Amazon will stay on top. When you wait until the verge of going bankrupt to reinvent, he said, it's a crapshoot whether you're going to be successful or not. You want to be reinventing when you're healthy. You want to be reinventing all the time. So what do you think? Is Andy Jassy a good fit for the role? Is his experience with AWS enough to help him run the world's biggest retailer and a Hollywood studio?